Rick the Shaman here teaching you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch with iLiberty Plus. First you wanna uh, restore your iPod or iPhone. It should be either 1.1.4 or as long as you know what you're doing, any other. So uh, I added, I clicked everything just because I wanted to. I was bored. I uploaded everything. I also downloaded the SD subsystem. I used installer, OpenSSH, and I got those three from clicking on available on repo. So you can download all these extras you can put on there without having to download them later as soon as you get on. And um, so once you're done, uh, well actually, you should really worry about fake blank because it changes your bootloader from uh, 4.6 to 3.9, which the iPhone does automatically, yes, but it permanently changes it down so you can't change it back, which is really bad. But if you restore, iLiberty automatically changes it back to 4.6 so you won't have any problems. Uh, if you just want to jailbreak it, just click jailbreak, and uh, you probably want to install Cydia, or Cydia, or whatever. Uh, I just clicked all of them, because I wanted to, pretty much. Make sure it says in normal mode, and then click go for it. In a second, a little window will pop up telling you to, uh... Um, hold on. Telling you to unplug it. So, alright, so going back, um, I had to fix something real quick. My mom wanted me. Okay, first, I have the uh, link for iLiberty downloaded, or for you to download already. So, here it is iLiberty. I don't know why it's. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, 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 Local got the SD subsystem. Let's try it out. Click go for it. And then a second a little window will pop up telling you to plug in and then unplug your iPod. And it's about to pop up. Notice the hourglass. Right here it says disconnect device from computer, then reconnect device. And then what you want to do is you want to unplug it. Wait for the doo doo, then plug it in. Wait for the doo doo, and then click OK really quickly. And uh, it says booting device into recovery mode. You can just wait for it to do that. And just if iTunes pop up, press OK and minimize. Then just wait for the white text. Everything will be finished in a minute. I'll come back when it's done. Do not touch it. Just let Alright, uh, after waiting for all the white text and reboot Apple logo, uh, it could take anywhere from 1 to 15 minutes to do all that stuff, especially if you added a extras like I did. Uh, just wait for the boot logo, iTunes will pop up saying there's nothing connected, and this may come up. It says USB device may not is not recognized, but just... Uh, iTunes will recognize it, even if your regular computer doesn't. And this stupid 2.0 software won't stop popping up. I hate it. I'm not buying stupid App Store for ten dollars. Um. All right. So after that, it should be done. Screw the sync. I'll sync up in a minute. And now I have Installer, Cydia, YouTube, all that. Uh, let me connect to wireless Wi-Fi. I have three home networks actually, so uh. Um. Wait, yeah. I want to sing a little song. Three home networks, so. Me going when I in, if, in case one fails, the other two will be backed up. Which is, I think, is pretty cool. Because we the, the routers want more than like $20. Everybody had a big Somebody went. So yeah, if installer doesn't work, then you can use Cydia. If Cydia doesn't work, you can use installer. 
Personally, I like Installer because it's more general. I like that better than Sidia, but Sidia is faster, more powerful, and um, it's just an uh, alternative that people want to use. It. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. So after that, uh, all done there. Congratulations. Yeah, you broke your iPod using iLiberty. Ta 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 